What's up guys, WNS Anyway here, and today uh, I basically wanted to give you guys kind of, uh, I am at max level on Destiny 2, I've played a lot, a lot of hours in it, and I basically just wanted to show you guys my, my gear and my hunter, I only have the one hunter, and uh, I don't really know if I'm going to make like a titan or a warlock or anything, but I wanted to show you guys what I have and all the gear I have and uh, basically what I've done in the game so far. So right now uh, we're here in Trossland on the EDZ European Dead Zone um, and I'm just gonna kinda stand here for a little bit and show you guys what I have. Uh, basically I'm gonna start out with the super that I use. The super that I use is the Night Stalker Hunter subclass. Um, basically it's a bow and arrow that lets you shoot a tether. Tether like basically acts like a trap. You shoot it on the ground and it attaches to enemies and uh, damages them over time and causes orbs to spawn. Um, so that's the super I use. I am a light 305. I can't increase that light level until the first expansion comes out, which comes out on December 5th, the Curse of Osiris. Um, but first I'm going to start with armor and then I'll move on to weapons. Uh, so currently as a, helmet, uh, as a helmet I have the Gemsome Knight cask. Uh, something you guys should know is that mobility is not a good thing to have in this game. The best things you want to have are resilience and recovery because that will really help you out the best and mobility isn't something that you really need. Um, so I'm trying to use gear that will put my uh, resilience and uh, a recovery up as much as I can. <coughs> uh, so the best thing I can use right now is the Gensome Knight cask um, because it has a higher uh, resilience and recovery than other things that I have. I'm trying to keep my mobility low. Um, but the Gensome Knight cask, um, it doesn't, it's not uh, exotic, so it doesn't give me anything super special. Um, but I do have all my gear on uh, in a way so that it improves my um, abilities with the Night Stalker subclass. So I get faster Night Stalker grenades, melee ability, and super. Um, so I have the Gensome Knight cask helmet. Uh, the Iron Trouge Grips, I think I'm saying that right. I might be getting attacked right now, hold on. Yeah, I'm getting attacked. <laughs> um, let me go to a safer area over here. Go look at the scenery. Um, but I have the Iron Trouge Grips, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but these are the arms that you get from the Iron Banner um, public, or uh, the Iron Banner PvP games. I'm not really big into PvP, but these arms are the best uh, resilience arms that I have right now. I do have some exotics, um, but they help when you are using the Gunslinger um, subclass, and I don't use Gunslinger, uh, so I put those to the side. Um, I also have the Gensome Knight Curus, uh, which is also not... Uh, this one's also pretty hard to find, apparently. it's kind I think it's like you have to do special missions on IO or whatever. But it has high recovery, and uh, recovery is really good, so I'm trying to get that up. Uh, we'll skip this exotic. I want to get to that last. Um, we, this is the Coronation Cloak. I got this cloak um, this week. Um, the faction rallies came back, so I put this cloak on, um, and it's pretty good so far. I have it at a 305, so I decided to put it on. I like it better than this cloak. This is the cloak uh, I've been this is the cloak I've been wearing. This is the one you get from the raid. I ha also have it at a 305, but I just kind of like the way this cloak looks a little bit better. <clears throat> um, I'm also in a clan. I don't want to. I don't know if I should show you guys the clans, but it's not really important, so I'll show you guys that later. Um, lastly, in armor, we have the Orpheus rig. <clears throat> I I literally just got these legs today. I've been doing so many public events and different stuff every week to try and get them. Um, basically, why I want the Orpheus rig so badly is because the Orpheus rig, basically, if you use your super, um, which is the tether, um, on a bunch of enemies and you kill a bunch of enemies. I'll see if I can show you guys my super real quick. I don't think there's a bunch. There's many enemies around right now. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. Boom. Alright, so that's the tether. So the tether connects and traps a bunch of enemies to do damage to them, and you kill them, and that generates orbs for your team. But basically, uh, every time, uh, like the more enemies that you affect with the tether and the more enemies you kill with the tether, um, as you can see in the bottom left, um, on the super charge bar, uh, you can see that my uh, super is already more than halfway back. Now, if I were to get like a whole like squad of enemies right there, um, that would 
basically get my my full super back instantly, and I wouldn't have to worry about it uh, at all. So that's why I have the Orpheus rig legs, is because I can get my super back almost instantly, and it's really good for uh, PVE. Not so good for PVP though. Um, I'm, I still wear them. In, I'm still gonna wear them in PVP just because um, uh, they're really good armor. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my gear, but I'll do that in uh, just a second. Uh, right now, I just want to show you what I have equipped. Uh, I am uh, new with New Monarchy uh, this faction rally. Uh, first faction rally, I was with Dead Orbit, and they didn't really give me anything good. I'm liking. I've gotten a couple of faction rally armor things, and I'm liking their armor better. And I've gotten a bunch of their weapons, so uh, I think I'm. This week I went with a new monarchy and I'm liking it so far. I think in another week I'll try out a future war cult, but this is only the sec week, second week of faction rallies. Um, so the guns I have equipped right now are the Mita multi tool. Now I know what you're thinking. Everybody uses the Mita multi tool and it's a super trolley weapon, but it is a really good weapon. Um, basically, uh, the special thing that this has that the weapon has is that the radar stays active while you're just aiming down the sights. So with this gun, as you can see in the top left corner of the map. My little radar is still there, I can still see enemies, um, but with a different weapon, when I zoom in, and as you can see in the top left, the radar disappears. So with this weapon, I can understand why a lot of people use this gun, and it's also just a really, really good gun all around. It's really good at headshots. Um, based Any time that you play Trials of the Nine in this game, everybody is using it. Um, uh, it's, it's just a really good gun all around. Um, I'll show you the other guns I have uh, for kinetic weapons. I have the Rat King. Uh, Rat King is a special gun you have to do a quest for, and uh, the Mighty Mighty Multi Tool is a gun you also have to do a quest for. I don't know what just happened. Oh, my super my super charged up. Um, but Rat King is another gun where um, if you're playing with a fire team and your fire team members also have Rat King, it does increase damage. Um, but no, I don't really have a fire team or a group of friends also uses it. And it's also just not that good, so I don't really recommend this gun. Um, if you want to get it, it does look pretty cool. Uh, so there's that. Uh, another exotic is the Vigilance Wing Pulse Rifle. It's a five round burst, and it heals you when one of your allies is dead near you. Um, it's kind of morbid, but <laughs> it's there. Um. Uh, Nightshade is a gun, is a pulse rifle you can get from uh, the strikes. Uh, you get it from doing strikes for Zavala at the tower. I'll probably go to the, the tower at the end of this video and show you guys that stuff, and show you the other, show you around the tower maybe. Um, but sweet business, uh, this is a gun that I think is best for Titans to have. Titans can get a certain chest piece that basically lets them uh, shoot from the z the reserves on this weapon rather than the normal magazine, which means you can basically just shoot endlessly. Um, but I have it. I don't really use it. I'm really, I really like the Mita. Um, this is the Ghost Primus Auto Rifle. This currently is my favorite auto rifle. Uh, I use it when I do the raid, and along with a different side, uh, with along with a different secondary weapon. But this is my favorite auto rifle. It's really good. It's really well balanced. Um, I did the, um, I did one of the parts of the Prestige raid to get the different uh, shader. Um, I did one of the parts of the prestige raid. I've basically I've already gotten all the armor that you can get from the prestige raid, and it's all mo all the armor you, that you can get for the hunter at least for the from the prestige raid is mobility gear. So I wouldn't recommend it, um, but it they, it does look pretty cool. Um, moving on to this one, this is another um, new monarchy weapon that I just got today, um, which is pretty good. I, I want to hold on to it because it looks cool. Uh, moving on to the secondaries, I use the Uriel's Gift. This is another gun that a lot of players use. Really well balanced auto rifle, elemental auto rifle. I have Void on it. Uh, I'm really liking Void, so I'm kind of sticking with it all around. Uh, Golden Trace is my favorite shader, and uh, yeah, this is a really good gun. Um, I highly recommend it if you start playing the game. Uh, but Uriel's Gift is just a great auto uh, elemental auto rifle or energy ri rifle. Uh, uh, first, uh, ele bleh, first exotic I have is the Sunshot Hand Cannon at 305. Uh, I got this, first time I got this gun was when I was doing the story mission, which was multiple mon months ago, uh, but I got rid of it because it wasn't really good for, uh, PvP, and I found some better stuff, um, 
but it's a really good gun. Uh, it's an exotic. Uh, exotic guns you have to get ornaments for from um, the tower uh, to put on to change the look. Uh, it's an overall super good PvE gun. Not very good for PvP, I would say. Um, this is the Mob Justice submachine gun that you can get from the raid. Um, it's pretty good. It's probably the worst weapon that you can get from the raid. Uh, recoil is pretty good. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. It says it does more damage than the Mita Mini Tool, if you know what that is. I don't have that on me right now. But it does. It says it does more damage than that, but it actually does one point less, which is weird. Um, but I have that at 305 arc damage. Next we have the Cold Heart. The Cold Heart is a gun that you can get from pre-ordering the game, but you can also just get it from getting exotics and stuff. I didn't actually even pre-order the game and I got this gun, um, so I don't know uh, how that works. Um, but I got the pre-order, I got this from pre-order, from not even pre-ordering and somehow I got it after I beat the campaign. Um, but it's really good. Uh, most players use this when fighting Kallus in the raid. Um, I like it a lot. I wouldn't recommend it for PvP or PvE, but I do see some other players playing it, so it's really up to you. Um, this uh, is the loadout that I use for when I'm fighting Kallus. I use uh, the Cold Heart and the Ghost Primus. Cold Heart uh, does a lot more damage when you're getting to the end of its clip or and the longer that you're aimed on a single target. So when a lot of players use it together when, when you're all shooting at Kallus, it goes it does a lot of damage so a lot of people use it at that time. Um, you can only hold one exotic at a time, uh, unfortunately. Same as Destiny 1, I believe. Uh, secondly, or not secondly, <laughs> Last Hope, we have the Last Hope Pistol. This is probably one of the most powerful sidearm weapons that you can get. Uh, Last Har Hope is a very po um, a very popular weapon for uh, PvP uh, and also PvE, but it is really, really good for PvP. I see a lot of people using these in the Trials of the Nine. Uh, really powerful uh, sidearm. I generally use the Last Hope in PvP more than I use the Uriel's Gift because when you're up close uh, and personal with pe people in PvP, it go just works out a lot better. Um, this is the Hard Light. I have gotten way too many of the Hard Lights and the Cold Hearts from uh, Exotic Engrams. It's pretty good. I have an ornament on it. Um, I thought it looked cool, so I put it on there. Um, you can change uh, what kind of damage it does right here, and it changes the color on the thing. I like it at Arc. I know I haven't used that gun in a really long time, just because I like the Uriel's Gift. I think the Uriel's Gift is a little bit more balanced. I can compare them here. Uriel's Gift does a little bit uh, more damage and has more range. Hard Light does have a lot more going for it, but you can only hold one exotic at a time, so I'm sticking with the Mita. Um, uh, also, I got the Older Sister 3. I just got this today. I think the Faction Rally just started again today, by the way. Um, today is Tuesday the 7th, I believe. Um, but I just got this today. I've been trying to get better with hand cannons. I'm not the best with hand cannons, but I'm trying to get better. Um, but those are the energy weapons and the kinetic weapons. Moving down to power weapons, I have the Sins of the Past rocket launcher that you can only get from the raid. Um, the Sins of the Past, this is probably the best weapon you can get from the raid. Um, I've watched a couple of videos, and a lot of people agree that this is probably the best one you can get. Um, I might change the... The shader on it that that looks good. I'm gonna change that shader. Um, Sins of the Past is the best rocket launcher you can get from the raid. Uh, whenever missiles hit a target, uh, where is it? Oh crap! Its bonuses aren't here. All right, it's right there. Uh, has high damage. Uh, rockets spawn cluster bombs around de detonations, so it does bonus damage when you hit a enemy with it. So you can basically, if you see a bunch of enemies, you can shoot the ground. Uh, in the middle of them and it'll spawn cluster bombs and kill them all. Uh, so I highly recommend this rocket launcher. It does insane da it's insanely good in PvP, PvE, and using it against Kallus in the raid. So I highly recommend it. Uh, this The holstered weapon is automatically reloaded. Uh, so when you're not holding this gun and you have another gun equipped like the Uriel's Gift, it'll automatically reload after a short amount of time. I um, need to get rid of this. Uh, next thing is the Hawthorne's Field Forge Shotgun. This is probably one of the best shotguns you can get. Uh, it does a lot of damage. It's really good all around, as you can see from its stats. And holding down the trigger will file will fire this weapon at full auto. So I highly recommend this uh, shotgun as well if you get it. 
Next we have the Raid Sword, called it Stared Back. It's well rounded and you can use right trigger to do an uppercut attack with it. Consecutive rapid sword strikes increase the weapon's damage output and landing three strikes within a short time grants extra sword ammo. So if you're in PvP and you're hitting, killing multiple enemies really quickly with the sword, you'll get a lot of ammo back and you can basically just keep using the sword. So I highly recommend this sword. Sword is also really good for PvP if you can get quick kills with it. It should be about an instant kill on uh, against each player. Um, just gotta know how to dodge and weave and not die. <laughs> uh, but I highly recommend this sword. Uh, this is what it looks like. You can't put a shader on them, unfortunately, but it is pretty cool looking. Um, next, we have the Legend of Acreus Shotgun. Now, this shotgun was a freaking pain in the sphincter to get. Uh, at, you have to beat the raid before you can get this shotgun. And then after you beat beat the raid, you have to do a light a level light 300 mission in order to get it. And you have to beat the. It's basically a really hard version of the Nightfall, basically a prestige Nightfall, but a specific specific mission that you have to do. After you beat it, you get this shotgun. And in order to upgrade the shotgun, which I don't know if there's any other weapons you can upgrade, but if you upgrade this shotgun, you can. Uh, this shotgun only has one bullet in the magazine. Um, and it's basically an instant kill every time, I believe. Um, but if you upgrade it, you do a bunch of mission steps, which I think uh, you actually have to do this, and you have to do a bunch of other things. I think you might have to beat the prestige raid. Um, but you can upgrade, actually get the upgraded version of this gun. It shoots an extra bullet, and I think it goes up to 305 attack damage. And this is the mission for it. Alright, uh, the Prosecutor Grenade Launcher. I'm running out of breath. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the better uh, grenade launchers you can get. Uh, 305 attack. Uh, it has an excavation ability. Detonates mul multiple grenades when it hits the target, I believe. Holding down the trigger will fire, it, fire this weapon at full auto also. Uh, I haven't used it. I'm not really a grenade launcher guy, but I do recommend this uh, grenade launcher. All right. Lastly, uh, the Merciless Fusion Rifle. Now, this is probably the best fusion rifle you can get in the game right now. Uh, in the in the vanilla game at least uh, everybody was getting this gun uh, I think Zer had it on the first week really good to use in the raid really good in PvP and PvE um, non-lethal hits lessen its charge time so if you hit somebody with it and it doesn't kill them it charges a lot faster the next time you shoot them um, reloading immediately after a kill increases weapon damage for a short amount of time so you're more likely to get somebody with an instant kill. I highly recommend getting this rifle. I more like using a, a, a missile launcher, but this is probably something you'll be better, that would be better to use in uh, PvP. Uh, this is really good for using against the dogs in the raid, uh, and also on Kallus, but uh, my personal favorite uh, is the Sins of the Past. If you can get that from the raid, I would definitely keep it and use it as best you can. Alright, now I'm going to show you the other armor that I have. Uh, I currently have the Foe Tracer helmet, visually marks targeted enemies and deals more damage to low health marked enemies. Uh, so basically when you aim your gun at an enemy, uh, it, lot, it puts like a little red X on them and when they go behind the wall you can see them. Really good helmet if you get it. I've gotten it way too much. Um, when I, I got it way too much when I was trying to get the Orpheus rig legs, but this is a really good helmet. I personally, uh, <clears throat> as an exotic helmet, I like the Knucklehead Radar the best. Knucklehead Radar, uh, crap, I forgot its bonuses. Uh, it provides radar, f like, while, forever, while you're aiming, so it basically makes uh, the Mita pointless. So if you have this helmet on, whatever weapon you're using, the radar will still be there. Um... I highly recommend this one. I like it a lot. It looks cool, um, and this is pretty BA, honestly. I like it a lot. Um, last uh, exotic helmet is the Celestial Nighthawk. Celestial Nighthawk has the Hawkeye hack, which modifies the Golden Gun, which is the Gunslinger subclass, uh, to fire a high damage shot. Enemies eliminated by the shot will explode. So basically, uh, I do not recommend this at all for PvP. I would just not wear the Celestial Nighthawk in PvP because uh, your because your Golden Gun will only shoot one shot. Uh, basically, I would use this for uh, the raid or uh, PvE if you want, like a Nightfall or something like that. Uh, definitely use this. You can basically kill a high-powered Centurion in one shot in the Gauntlet Room. Uh, or in uh, Kalashroom. 
I highly recommend that uh, for if you're doing the throne room part of the Callus boss. Uh, the helm of the Ace Defiant. This is the helmet that I got um, from the normal version of the raid. It looks really cool. Uh, I think it has a high. Um, it's another. All the raid armor for the hunter that I've seen this far is mobile armor. Um, so I I like this helmet a lot though. I put uh, more recovery on it, trying to get my recovery up a little bit. But I like that helmet a lot. So if you get it, I I think you should definitely keep it. I just got this helmet today, um, the Sovereign Mask, this is the new Monarchy helmet, haven't used it yet, uh, I don't want to use any of my legendary uh, modifications on it because I'm probably not going to wear it, but that's there. Alright, uh, you saw those, uh, these are the flowing grip arms for the Hunter, these are the arms that you get from Trials of the Nine, if you go flawless in Trials of the Nine uh, and you get armor like this. If you get Trials Armor, it will glow, have like a blue glow coming out of it permanently, I'm pretty sure, if you go flawless. Trials of the Nine is insanely hard, though, and I don't really find it fun, because it's just a lot of tryhards and people like that. So I don't really do it, and I don't really care about the armor as much. Armor and weapons from it as much. I would like uh, one of the auto rifles from it. But I do have those. They look pretty cool. Nextly, we have the Grips of the Ace Defiant. These are the Raid arms that you can get for the hunter. Uh, I like how one of the arms is armored and the other one isn't, but it looks pretty cool. Once again, it is mobility armor, so it is pretty cool, but it I don't know, it won't protect you as much. Uh, these are the young Ahakamaras. Uh, Aham, Aham, Ahamkaras, I guess, arms. If you look closely, the bones on the arm, they move, which is pretty interesting. Um, there is only one... Um, Ahamkara's uh, armor for each type of character. I think um, the Warlock has the uh, Ahamkara's helmet, and I think um, I think the Titan might have the chest. I'm not sure, but this uh, increases trip mine grenade duration and marks enemies damage by the blast. Um, so basically, that is only for a uh, Solar subclass or Gunslinger subclass uh, players. It helps you out a lot if you use trip mines. And it marks enemies like that. All right. Uh, next, we have the Raiden Flux uh, exotic chest armor. Quick successive attacks with the arc staff increase this damage output and duration. This is for players who use the arc strider hunter subclass. At the beginning of the game, I used this for a long time until I realized how good Night Stalker is. Um, so I would highly rec you put this chest on, and the more that you attack an enemy with this while having this chest on with the arc staff uh, super attack. Uh, the longer you'll have uh, the arc staff out, and the longer you can use it to kill enemies. Uh, <clears throat> really good. I, I like wearing it um, in the nightfalls when you need to do uh, a lot of damage, or when you um, need to do add control in the raid or PVE. Uh, this is the Sovereign Vest. Just got this today from the new Monarchy. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I still have the Golden Trace shader on it, uh, but it's pretty good. I think it is mobility armor though. Yeah, it's high mobility, uh, so I decided to stick with this recovery armor. Orpheus rig. These are the boots of the Ace Defiant. Uh, these are these took me forever to get. I was trying to get them, um, but these are the last piece of the raid armor that I needed to get. Once again, they're mobility gear, and I put the resilience on. They look pretty cool, but this was the last piece of the raid armor I needed. Next we have the exotic stompies. Uh, increases sprint speed and slide distance and improves double jump. Basically these legs are all mobility, like full, like extra all mobility right there. So I still have them. They look pretty cool. I think they're pretty dope looking. Um, I it took me a while to get them. Um, they're pretty cool if you're in PvP or PvE and you're trying to move around quickly. Uh, let you slide a little bit farther. Uh, these are dead end cures, nothing special, just some legendaries <clears throat> with high resilience. Um, I like them, but uh, I'm going to stick with the Orpheus rigs just because they help out with my super so much. I showed you the cloak. Uh, this Exodus, Exodus Down cloak, got this from doing the flashpoint today. Uh, basically, it's just a fancy looking cloak. And then I showed you the raid cloak as well. Alright, so there's all that stuff. Uh, that is my gear that I have for t Destiny so far. Uh, I might end the video there, but I also might cut to uh, uh, the tower so I can show you stuff I have in the vault. But 
Either way, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hold on. Okay, bye! That doesn't look good. Lost too much when the Red Legion hit us. My lord, the prisons of the Legion are holy. A lot of good stuff here, Hunter. comes to shove, the big foundries will fall in behind me. What is Death Orbit in this one? If we shut 
that line up, the south elevators are going to freeze. If we shut that line off, the south elevators are going to freeze. We shut that line off, the south elevators are going to freeze. A lot of good stuff here, Hunter. My team lost last night. Never insult me with knife work like this, Hunter. These rookies.